Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we are in Encilico. I'll add a card of the destination video that I've done here. So welcome to day one of April Diamonds. So for today, I want to show you how to maneuver through Second Life if you are considering joining this virtual world. So for the sake of this video, I'm showing you guys my complete interface. This is what I see when I come on Second Life. So before we get to walking, I want to teach you about the camera control. So these are the uh, buttons are called the toolbar buttons. We'll get into those a little bit later. So with the camera controls, um, when you first come to Second Life, you're going to be in this view. So when you get here, you're gonna have a all you're gonna have preset um, toolbar buttons at the bottom. One of them should be an eye. So um, if it's not the eye, we'll talk about how to get to that a little bit later. But it should be there. So when you are in here, the camera control buttons allows you to maneuver your camera. This is just for the camera controls, not for walking or flying or anything. This is just for the camera controls, just to help you get a better view of things. So within the camera controls, you also have an option to change your position and just basically create a preset that's gonna be very specific to you and how you want to view your avatar um, when you are standing and walking and things like that. You can save the preset, then you can name it to whatever you wanna name it and that preset is gonna pop up down here. So these are two that I made already. This is where your presets are. So when it comes to walking in Second Life, because Second Life is a PC-based virtual world, your keyboard keys are going to be your absolute best friend. So your arrow keys, you're going to probably use more than anything else. So your up, down, left, right arrow keys are going to get you walking. So when you want to go up, you're going to click the up arrow. When you want to go walk the other way, you're going to click that button. The left, right arrow keys turns you into the in the direction that you want to be in, and then you will use the up arrow or the back arrow to walk. If you decide that you don't want to use your arrow keys, I'll go ahead and put the icon and the labels up. This button right here, the walk, run, fly button, is going to do the exact same thing that the keyboard does for you. So on here, the arrow key, you're going to go up, back. This key is going to turn you in the direction that you want to go in, and then you're going to go forward. This key will turn you into the direction that you want to go in, and then you'll go forward. This one gives you like a little shimmy to either the left or the right side. So when you want to when you want to run, if you choose the run option, it's going to do the same exact thing except you're going to be running. Same thing, just you're going to be running. That's it. Um, this land does not allow you to fly, but if you were going to fly, you would click that button and it will let you fly. We'll probably go to a different land so I can show you how to fly. And um, jumping, you're going to use your page up, page down button. So click up, page up, page down just kind of brings you back down. Page down is another way if you are flying to get you back down on the ground. So same thing with this arrow, you can do page up and then page down will bring you back down. If you want to crouch and just be walking, looking crazy, you can do that too. You know, it's, it's your second life. You do what you want to do. So um, what do I want to do? Let's get into the toolbar buttons. So these toolbar buttons are going to be your very best friends. They're basically quick tabs to get you to where you want to go um, to be able to further customize your second life experience. So with these tabs, um, you're going to basically use them to maneuver through Second Life, just to do a little, some quick things. If you, for whatever reason, come to Second Life and you don't have any tool button, toolbar buttons on your screen, which I very, I doubt very seriously, you would go into Avatar and you would click Toolbar Buttons. In the Toolbar Buttons, you get this huge selection of toolbar buttons. These are all your quick keys to help you get to places quicker in Second Life without having to go through the whole Avatar tabs, all of these tabs to get to all of these buttons. So, um, for instance, if we want to do a, I don't know, what do we want to do? a mini map so to get that you're going to left click hold it down while you're dragging you're going to drag it and you're going to drop it into the space that you want it in um, same thing with picks so like they give you these spaces the, the highlighted spaces let you know where the buttons can go so if you decide that you don't want a button on um, here so this was the mini map button you're going to right click the button and you're going to click 
remove this button and then it goes back into your mini map so this gives you the option to be able to have as many quick keys as you would like um, on your second life interface just to make it a little bit easier maneuvering around so um, some of my favorite toolbar buttons are the ones that I have here and they do give you options if you left click they give you options on how your toolbar buttons can um, present themselves I just do the um, icons only because I know what each of them are um, if you want to do labels only then it'll just be that if you want to do icons and labels how it was before it'll just be that but I do icons only because it just is more compact and it's I know what they are and you will to be in a second life for a short amount of time also when it comes to interacting with things or sitting on objects sometimes like for this with this chair for instance you'll get something and when you hover over it it'll have a chair option that'll tell you that you can sit if it doesn't and you feel like you can sit on it, or you want to see if you can sit on it you can right click and then you'll get the sit option and you'll click sit here it'll tell you how to change your poses but many times if it doesn't have a um like a any kind of wording to tell you how to change your poses a lot of times you can click on the object and it'll give you all the different poses and animations that you can go into and then it'll let you adjust um, on the X, Y, Z axis if you want to go up and down, in or out, just to kind of make um, sure that the object fits you perfectly in case you want to take a picture or something like that. When you want to stand up, you can click the stand button and it's going to stand you up next to that object. And that is how you sit and stand and maneuver through um, the animations on things. Anything that you sit on in Second Life, you'll sit on it the same exact way and you'll be able to find animations in it the same exact way. The quickest way is just to click on the object that you're sitting on and if a menu pops up, then you know you can do things. If no menu pops up, that means that the animation that you are in is the only animation that the object has for you to be in. So now we want to figure out how do we get to these other lands? How do we visit all of the cool places in Second Life? Before you visit any place, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your preferences. If you do not have these toolbar buttons up for your preferences, you want to go to avatar and then preferences and you want to be in general. In general, you want to change your rating. When you first come to Second Life, you're going to be on general and moderate. General and moderate is cool, but if there are any lands that are adult lands, um, which basically is a lands that may have more um, sexual related content, you're gonna to wanna to be able to access that. Second Life is a virtual world for adults. It's a virtual world for who? Adults. So, everything on Second Life is keeping adults in mind. So what you wanna do is when you first come on here, you wanna come out of general and moder moderate. You don't wanna be here, you want to be here. General, moderate, adult. That's gonna give you access to, and then you're gonna click OK to lock it in. That's gonna give you access to every single land that Second Life has to offer. Right now we're on a moderate um, land. I believe that they set it like that so that um, if kids are on the game, they won't really have the wherewithal to figure that out off the bat. So, perhaps they will, I don't know. I Listen, this, this is just how they have it. So, next thing we're gonna do, the search bar button, Every last viewer for Second Life is going to have a search bar menu search bar somewhere. Um, you can either type in what you want to do or where you want to go in Second Life in the search bar or you can use your toolbar buttons. We're going to use the search toolbar buttons. So what we want to do is we're just going to type in something. So we'll keep it simple. Park. So there are two ways to look for parks. Second Life has essentially what is what I consider to be like a Second Life Google. So what you're going to do is you are going to type in park. They give you all of these park options. Some of them are adults, but you have access to all of these. Why? Because you changed your ratings and your preferences under what was it? General. This is right under general. So you can either type in park here or we'll go ahead and copy that. You, you can also go to your places tab and type in park. And then it's going to show you all of these places in detail. We'll give you and gives you like a little 
um, information about the land. So we'll just go to London City. For the sake of, sec of YouTube, we're not going to go to any place that has Mex in the name, you know. Or replace the M with an S. You get it. So it also tells you the traffic, which is how many people frequent the land. This is not telling you how many people are currently on the land. Second Life lands can hold, they used to be able to hold like 60. I don't know. They might be able to hold more than that now. So anywho, on your mouse pad or your mouse, you're going to left click teleport and it's going to teleport you to that land. So in Second Life, there are things called Sims and essentially it's the land that the land that the location is on. So some people will have a space this big for their land. This is a this is a Sam. But then this little piece right here could also be a Sam. So somebody could have a piece of land that's just this big that they built on and it's a Sam. They can have a piece of land that's just this big and this is a Sam. So when I say Sims, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't cancel out anything, so we're gonna get pop-ups and everything. So if you decide that you wanna use your scroll wheel, wheel on your mouse to scroll in or out, or you wanna use your plus or minus sign to scroll in or out, when you wanna get back to your avatar, you're gonna click this little refresh button or your reset view button, and it's gonna take you back to your avatar. Sometimes it takes a little time for things to pop in and that's okay. So we're not gonna be waiting for everybody to pop in. It's a lot of people here. If you are, if you have been pressing a lot of buttons and things like that, you can click your escape key and it will open you back up to be able to move around um, however you please. So this is like a little cemetery that they have and things like that. So you will walk around here using your up, down, left, right arrow keys or your buttons on here. I don't know anybody who uses the, uh, these um, buttons, but you know, you just never know when it comes to groups sometimes they'll offer you to join a group or you can find groups in the search bar as well groups right here and whatever kind of group you want to go to it'll let you find those groups so if you want to be a dance group be in a dance group they show you all the dance groups all of the members in the dance group you can sort it by the most of the least i guess this is and that's just all the people that are under dance so there are multiple ways to join groups in second life on this land we can fly so like I said if you want to fly you're gonna click this fly option and it's gonna let you fly so then you can fly around you get the cool little wispy fly sound if you want to go up you can either click this arrow to go up or we could click what yep the page up button and it lets you go up 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 and up if you want to go down back down to the ground you can press this down arrow. It'll take you back down to the ground. Or what button can we use? We can use the page down button and it'll take you all the way down to the ground and you won't even be flying anymore. If you are flying and you don't wanna fly anymore and you don't wanna use these buttons and you don't wanna use your um, uh, page up, page down button, quickly press stop flying and then you will stop flying. So as far as toolbar buttons go, in my opinion, some of the main toolbar buttons that you should definitely have on your screen starting out in Second Life are going to be your camera control button, um, your voice or speak button, your and your inventory button. Once you get to making outfits and buying clothes in Second Life and all of that, then you can incorporate your, um, it's, a, it's an appearance button, but it's really... Um, an outfit gallery button so where you can just like if you want to make outfits you can get to them quicker so also with that your camera button so you can pay, take pictures as well as your photo tool button your search button your preferences um, this button your quick preferences is not really necessary in the very beginning you don't want to overwhelm yourself with stuff but as you get to play around with second life you'll want to add these keys just to make your second life a little bit easier also um, your photo tools buttons that helps you change the lighting on the land so right now um, we're in breeze apple blossom this is not the shared environment on this land so every land has a shared environment and the shared environment is the environment that the land specifically made so that you can have a better viewing um, experience in Second Life. However, sometimes, especially when you're making videos, they might be too dark. So for this land, this is the shared environment. So it's cool when you're walking around, but if you're trying to do a video, not so much. So in order to get back down to that, we'll call it, um, what was that, Breeze, Apple, Bo Apple Blossoms. 
so we'll go back here and i just picked this one because it's better um for recordings because you guys can see everything and it just you can see me and it's not like so super dark with the water you can change the water to look any kind of way that you want to the day cycle you can switch out the day cycles all of these things um and then they also have a cam option under photo tools and this allows you to maneuver your camera movement so that everything is just not um super stagnant so like right now everything is just kind of like that left right one two like that but if i put this here when i click that it makes it smoother so you're kind of gliding a little bit and it doesn't go too crazy unless you wanted to the higher up this is the more movement that you're going to get when you click these buttons so you can play around with all of these options we'll go ahead and maybe put that here you can play around with all of these options just to kind of make your second life experience even that much more enjoyable now as far as the scroll wheel i don't i know some laptops have a scroll wheel but most of them don't so um if you have an actual mouse you can use the scroll wheel to pan in and out um, from whatever you're looking at on your avatar and all of that I'll do a whole nother video for hotkeys and things like that I don't want to make it too long now in second line taking pictures is a very big thing so um, you want to be able to take your pictures so that's going to be under snapshot so when you're taking a picture if it's like that you want to scroll out click the refresh button and it'll show you your picture this just kind of makes the picture bigger you don't want it this big in my opinion because you want to be able to see what you're actually taking a picture of and it looks a little bit difficult when it's this big these are all of the different options that you can use um save it to inventory i normally don't do that now i normally save it to my computer in case i want to edit it or something like that um when i'm making a thumbnail i'll save it to my computer and then take it into canva make a thumbnail when you are uploading videos into second life, uploading pictures into second life it's going to cost 10 lindens whether you save it to your inventory for 10 lindens or you upload it for 10 lindens how do you upload you might say we'll go over that really quickly when you want to upload something you're going to click this you're going to click the plus button and then you're going to have an upload option you're going to say that you want to upload an image this is going to take you to your files here it's going to take you to your files you choose whatever file you want click it and they're going to say do you want to upload this yes i want to upload this if the picture is not right they're going to say you can't upload this change the settings to this this and this then you upload the picture it's going to take 10 lindens the currency in second life is lindens how do you buy lindens you say I, you listen because i knew i knew you might ask that so let's let's talk about that so you can buy lindens two separate ways. You can buy lindens through the buy lindens button. Here you type in how much you want. It'll tell you the amount of it. Or you can go to Marketplace. In Second Life, Marketplace is going to be another best, best friend of yours. So let's head over to Marketplace. So this is Marketplace. So this is the way that I choose to purchase lindens in Second Life. So this is the home screen. So when you are in when you are on marketplace you're going to go ahead and sign in your sign in information is going to be the exact same information that you use to sign into second life you cannot sign into marketplace if you do not have a second life account because you use your second life information to log into marketplace so once you type in your same second life information into marketplace it's going to take you to marketplace so it's going to have your money it's going to have your name and your money and all of that and then you're going to have a buy lendings option now before you buy anything before we get to talking about this in order for you to be able to buy lenders you have to have payment info on file and in order to have payment info on file you want to go under your account tab and you want to go to billing information under billing information it's going to give you all of the options for you to add payment information for you to purchase lendings. So nothing in Second Life is free. So when you purchase lendings, that money is coming directly off of some type of credit card, PayPal account, something. They give you all of these options um, to choose from. So once you set up your account and you link everything, then they'll have a credit card on file for you to be able to take the money out of your account and exchange them for lendings. That's just how it works. 
So if you are not from the U.S., but you can purchase lenders or some places you can't purchase lenders. I, I don't know nothing about that. But if you are not from the U.S. and you want to purchase lenders, you would go to your account summary tab. And here where it says country and residency, you would change it to whatever your country or residency is outside of the United States. And it's going to change your money options. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. That only makes sense to me. I didn't try it. I'm just assuming. That is going to change this, whatever your, um, it's going to change your currency to whatever country or of residence that you choose so say if you're using euros you do europe um they use euros in europe right I, they do yeah then they're going to change your currency to euros just so you are sure and you you have understanding of what you are buying how much how many lenders you are buying so before before you get to this you need to be up in your account that's what you need to be you need to be up in your account under your billing information you could do you could do either one you can do this make sure your country is right and then go to your billing information and add your credit card onto there so that you can purchase lenders so now so now when it's time to purchase lenders after you've done all the things that you needed to do they have two buy-in options so you either can purchase lenders through here you just type in how much uh, you want to use i'm in the u.s so i type in the dollar amount it tells me what that is equivalent to in lenders or you can use this best rate buy option this is an option that i have been using as of lately and so how it works is um you type in how much you uh, want to buy and they'll give you a lesser amount but it takes a little bit of time I, it goes through some type of exchange rate thing I, I don't know i don't know the particulars on that they, they probably have a youtube video on that i didn't check so they'll say okay well we can give you this same 4,800 lendings for 1868 instead of you paying 1944 for it. And instead of you spending $21.38 for it, you can only spend $20.54 for it. But instead of you getting this money instantly, it's going to take us 10 minutes to get it to you. I have not had no problems with them. I'm going to just say that. I have never had any problems with them with getting my funds. Never, never, never had any issues with getting my funds. If you have issues with getting your funds, you would go into account and transaction history. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm not. When you get a second life try it out for yourself because that, that's really going to be the best thing for you to do and so this is how you purchase um lindens in second life so that's it you guys if i missed anything um make sure you leave it in the comments and i will go over those things in a later video so i will see you guys on day two make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time